Obsidian isn't going anywhere, and I don't plan on leaving the channel at all, but there are a couple of projects that I'm doing at the moment that's taking up a lot of my time. is going to take up a lot more of my time at the beginning of the new year as well. So the amount of time and energy to an extent that I have to expend on the Danny Hatcher channel is going to decrease. So I have a couple of options. The option that I'm choosing to take uh, because of the amount of plugins in Obsidian is to try and explain, express, uh, share some of the plugins that I find, some of the newer plugins that come out uh, in videos. So you may have seen inside of uh, on, on, on my channel just in general there's live streams videos and then shorts and the short videos are actually really useful because there are so many plugins like pl over 700 plugins in obsidian uh, and it's one of my like it's one of the reasons i love obsidian but one of the reasons that i really get frustrated because there are so many plugins so many new plugins and so many updates to plugins that it's almost impossible to keep track of Yes, I, uh, I'm subscribed to Eleanor's newsletter, so I get updates there, but she can't cover all of the updates, which is why she's got links to other sources that have other updates, such as the updates channel inside of the Discord, uh, and there is also a website for the plugin stats, so whenever there's a new plugin, it surfaced, whenever there's an update to a plugin, it surfaced, there's a lot of those that happen. Um, so what I want to do on the channel uh, as of, well, December and then moving forwards into the new year because of my uh, bandwidth is just decreasing basically is to do short videos on the plugins that can have short videos. So for example, I found a plugin uh, yesterday which basically gives me updates. So I now at the bottom of my status bar, uh, I have three plugins updates available. So at the moment in Obsidian, you have to go into your settings, community plugins and then update now and then see how many updates there are. And the plugin basically looks for that and then says, hey, you have three plugins. You click it and then you say, I want to update them all because it gives you a list and then it updates them. And that's a really small plugin. I think it's got like 125 downloads because it's so new. I think it came out yesterday or the day before. But those sorts of things are just hidden away inside of the, the Obsidian sort of bubble of conversation. So the plan is to do shorter videos on those types of plugins, the shorter plugins that do really small things like the recent files. Uh, in Chris's recent Vault Tour, he uses recent files. But I can't do a, or well, I could do a 10 minute video on recent files, but it'd be pretty pointless because it just shows the recent files. So it takes like 20 seconds for a setup and that's it. Uh, some of the other shorts that I've got up is the relation and roll-up update to a DB folder. There's no point me redoing a 20 minute long video to add a 50 second bit. Uh, so I'm putting them into shorts and some of you may be missing them. Some of you may have just overlooked them, but that's what those shorts are. And if you're not sure where they are, if you go to my channel banner uh, at the top, you'll see home videos, live streams and shorts, I think. Um, and basically they're split up. So if you go to shorts, you can go through them and they're short. So they're less than 60 seconds. They're also in a vertical format. So you could look at them on your phone. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the plan for the shorter videos. For the medium style videos, I still want to cover plugins because that is the majority of what Obsidian is. And I can only share my use case so many times, like my actual vault so many times until I'm just repeating myself, which is what I was doing with Notion content to be completely honest right now. Like the, the Notion content, for those of you unfamiliar, about two years ago now, uh, I was doing Notion videos in a very similar way, but Notion doesn't have much changes. It, it, it's just the same app over and over and over again um, <laughs> with, with databases, which are quite limiting, which is why I've moved to Obsidian. Anyway, I'm not gonna rant about that. Um, so the videos in Notion tended to be sort of repeated. You could do this, you could do this, you could do this. And it was the same thing. In Obsidian, my, my use case doesn't change, but the plugins that I use, it does, and it, it alters small parts. And there's no point me doing a video every week about, hey, this is how I'm now using Obsidian when I can just share the plugin. Now I can't share everything about every plugin because it's always updating, like I said. So the smaller updates will come out in shorts or in other videos if it's a bigger update, like the um, the database folder update. I deliberately waited to do the DB folder um, video until there was the big update release. And there's another one, like it now currently works with projects. I've got some uh, niggles on my side, so there's no point in me making a video yet about DB folder working with projects as in the two plugins because there are some niggles that I don't like mainly on the project side because DB folder, I don't have any issues with that. The project side uh, doesn't load because I've got too many notes and then it doesn't work because 
other other things. Um, but those sorts of videos, there's no reason for me to do them. So the middle length videos would be me covering plugins and how they apply to my use case, to my work. And then on top of that, there are other tools that I use, such as Zotero, such as Morgan. And when there are updates to those tools, I also want to share those. And for those familiar with the channel, you'll know that I do a lot of research. I do a lot of personal research in my own time, and I did have those videos on this channel. But from a YouTube perspective, YouTube didn't like it, i.e. you guys didn't like it. You weren't interested, or the majority of you weren't interested in the research that I was doing. So there's no point in me putting a video out that people aren't interested in, because it wastes my time to just be bright, like blunt. It wastes my time, <laughs> uh, and it wastes your time, because you're like, oh, I got another notification. What is this? Uh, it's something about cognitive low theory. I don't care. Um, so what I'm doing is not doing those videos, basically. So there will be more videos of Obsidian on this channel, <laughs> hint, hint, uh, and then the research is going to be elsewhere. That's one of the projects uh, that's planned for 2022. Those that are patrons will know about this because I've spoken about this um, on Patreon. And for those that aren't patrons, basically every day I do a video journal just like this, as I'm doing now. Like this is my video journal for today. I just happen to be posting it on my main channel instead of the Danny Talks channel as an unlisted video that goes onto Patreon. Um, insider information. So for, for those that are patrons will know that I have a couple of projects going on and they'll know more about those projects. Um, and I'm going to leave it over there. I'm going to keep that conversation happening over there because yeah, privacy is, well, not privacy, just my own personal preference. I prefer to keep it over there than here because I talk about everything in my journal. So um, feel free if you want have a look. If not, don't bother. Uh, this is where I'm rambling and, uh, and I end up just brainstorming lots of different ideas. Um, but with the research, the research isn't related to Obsidian, but it's related to elements of use case in Obsidian, which is where I thought the use was. Now, I don't see the use. I don't see the use directly with users that don't understand the research I'm talking about. For example, if I talk about the extended brain, um, well, not the extended brain, but the extended cognition hypothesis, which is ex essentially extended brain or building a second brain, if you follow that ideology, that philosophy, that hypothesis is heavy in research. And there's loads of research around it about cognition, about the four E's, extended, embodied, enacted, uh, and embedded. And that sort of research is what I research is what I look at and it would take like a video essay to explain how that applies to using Obsidian and that's the plan for the other channel um with like I say more details on Patreon so this this channel is going to be Obsidian there's going to be shorter videos longer videos and what I want to try and do is make it a not necessarily a community channel <laughs> but get other people involved so there are other YouTube channels out there that do a lot of great work Ryan Jenks obviously I've spoken to recently Sergio I've been speaking to and he's got a good channel Nicole as well as another one and there are loads of other channels out there and it's I don't want it to become Kind of like Notion, like the the Notion YouTube channels were competitive, whether they <laughs> liked it or not, they were they were competitive, um, and it seemed very much like a who can get the video out first about this thing, or who can do the better explanation of this thing. This is me just speaking out loud because, like I say, this is my journal; it just happens to go up on on YouTube, um, and those sorts of videos I don't want to have, so I want to try and get as many people talking about Obsidian in the same sorts of places, um. So I, what I want, what I'd love is for you to share YouTube channels in the comment section so I can link them at the bottom of the videos in the description. So I've got a couple of channels in mind that I watch, but if there are any other channels that you watch that do Obsidian, not necessarily all Obsidian focused, but talk about Obsidian and try and get them in one place, that would help me out because I know, for example, some people in the Obsidian community don't watch YouTube anywhere near as much as I do, or anywhere as near as much as probably us, <laughs> as, as we do. So finding the channels that talk about Obsidian can be difficult. Uh, and I know there's the community hub that talk about videos, but not everyone knows about the community hub or where to find those videos. So what I, would, <laughs> that, what I have in my head is a list of the main Obsidian channels in my description. I can put it as a default. Um, and then potentially, I'm, I'm just, putting this out there, other creators could do a similar sort of thing. So if someone doesn't have the the answer of the video in Obsidian on whatever channel they've gone to, whether it's my channel, whether it's Sergio's, whether it's um, Brian's or Nicole's or whoever's, um, they can then have a look at the description and see here are loads of other Obsidian creators because there are lots of Obsidian videos out there, lots of Obsidian creators out there, but they're sort of hidden. Like there are a couple of that I watch that have like 100, maybe 200 subscribers with like 50 views a video. 
yeah, the video content could be improved and it could be pushed by YouTube more, but it still does the job of helping. Uh, and that's what I want to try and do with this channel as well as everything else in general. It's just like help people understand Obsidian. Obsidian onboarding, if you will. Um, but yeah, closing out.